your international Pat Under Armour. We, we got another video. Let's get into okay. it. What's up, Pat, Bev, and Ron? This is uh, a real one calling in from Phoenix, Arizona. Just got a question for you guys, um, mostly for Pat Bev. You did a stint playing Euro ball in like Ukraine. Sounds like you were in Russia for a little bit, as well as Olympiacos, which is a pretty famous club in Greece. I'm curious, as like a hard-nosed defensive guy, how was that basketball different when you were overseas compared to your time uh, in the NBA? Big fan, guys. Thanks so much. Peace. Um, Arizona, bro. Yeah, he don't fuck around. Arizona State, bro. Yeah, like he just got done lifting. Yeah, he could probably do a backflip. And American flag is for sure somewhere on his car. And he's about to go to a pool party and fucking shotgun some Miller lights, dude. There's no doubt in my and mind. And take off shirt, yeah. nine pack. Oh. I'm talking about the one even like up here that count as one. Yes, <laughs> dude. His favorite song is ba 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 He's fucking raging, like, dude. Yeah, there's no doubt in my so mind. So yeah, shout out to that. Uh, Europe was Europe was phenomenal. Uh, Greece was beautiful. Obviously, at uh, Greece, I didn't play a lot. I rode the bench the whole year, but I, I learned a lot. You know, I think that was mo one of my most humbling years. Russia was a vibe. Um, won a ton of games. Yeah, Europe, Europe, Europe was a vibe for me. I enjoyed every bit of it. Every bit of it. Every bit of it. How about the style of play, though? Because I feel like every so often you'll hear like people being like that. The game in Europe is almost better than the game in the NBA. Wow. And it's not better. It's just a different style of yeah. game. But how did you find it as far as the style of play? Uh, a lot more intelligence. A lot, a lot less athleticism. Whites? Uh, Euros. <laughs> <laughs> European whites. Um, they drink a beer before the game. Dude, I saw Luke in the playoffs. I had a teammate. Took shot of vodka before a game. I in hope locker it was room. New Amsterdam, dude. I hope he was off the New Straight Amsterdam. Straight up. And he used to he used to play with so much like passion and like <laughs> mouthpiece and like, you know, he had, it wouldn't even be a dunk. It'd just be like a hook shot. He beats his chest three fucking times. Bobby! Like going wild. Yeah, I like this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that was. Uh, I know he was sweating. Yeah, I know that if you're taking some vodka before yeah. you run around, he's. Sweating. And I had a teammate like uh, after the, a big championship game, he in the motherfucking shower, legs crossed, cigarette. You know what I'm saying? Like, so like yeah, I don't I don't see some shit in Europe, <laughs> but the but the game like so to be able to do that, you, you have to think the game. You know, like you have to. <laughs> You have to think the game at a high level. So uh, just getting in the mind yeah, of a Greek I just, dude. Yeah, I just say the uh, yeah, yeah. I say the the mindset, the IQ is a little higher over there, overseas. Not uh, in the athleticism, of course, is not even close. What what country was the dude from who took the shot? Uh, was he Russian, bro? No, because those guys might have been serious. Croatian. Croatian. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, might have been Croatian. When you played for those teams, Olympiacos or whatever. You're traveling to different cities in Europe? Uh-huh. Uh Is it similar to the NBA experience going from city to city? So I, I experienced it on all three levels. So when I played in Ukraine, I played in the second division, so you're not flying anywhere. Mm. So we got to take the train everywhere. The train in Ukraine? And it was off. I'm talking Dang. about 21-hour train rides. I'm talking about, like, it's three guys in there, but, but the heat is built. It's so cold outside, but it's so warm inside, but you can see the water dude Fogging dripping up. from the <laughs> yeah. ah, man I'd sleep on the bottom of that shit man and thug it out are people bitching or, or is everybody just used to uh, it used to it I got every after every practice is you no know, restaurants I gotta go to this little market that's a part of the, 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 the gym and the big lady is making borscht like this with a big ass spoon and dipping it in people's shit yeah what's borscht like uh, like Stew? a like a Ukrainian soup Russian soup it's red is it good? It's a bomb. I mean, it's all I had to eat, so I had to make it bomb. Just bowls of borscht? Borscht. Heavy on the bread and butter. Give me a bowl of uh, a borscht. Make that shit super hot, and I'm, I'm cool. Yeah. I didn't know not. I didn't. I couldn't tell you one thing that was in it. I just know the color was red. So my, my traveling experience is different there. Olympiacos was like the biggest team. In Europe, but and I didn't, you know, I I knew it, but didn't know how big they were. And, and we traveled like 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 superstars, you know. what I'm saying, oh, really, yeah. That's that sounds like a dream. Traveling yeah. around Europe, no. playing basketball. Like, like we went to Paris for the played in Paris for the Euroleague championship. Damn. Yeah. Was that 
were those some of your first times going to all those European cities? Yeah. Did you yeah. have any favorite cities where you're like, I'm coming back here? Yeah. So I didn't make a lot of money then. So, right. you know, I was in the business. Okay, let me keep all my bread. So, you know, when guys went out, I kind of stayed in. And plus, I didn't play a lot. So I didn't really, I'm really still in grind mode. I mean, I want to make the team. I want to, you know, my shit happened when I signed in Russia. So and when I went to Russia, it was like the middle. It wasn't like as high as Olympiacos, but, you know, we traveled playing, you know, first class. You know, we traveled, you know, trained sometimes places close, but we went to those nice cities, man. Yeah, I was, yeah, we was getting busy. That's go to Germany, go to Roly, go get Hugh Blow. We landed in this place, Dolce Gabbana store, go in here, pop in there, you know, like, yeah. Oh, so you were living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. were running it up. Yeah, I'm the highest, what, one of the highest paid Americans in Europe at the time. Oh really? Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm. I'm having my way. I'm at Red Bottoms. Yeah, Red. Yeah, we having we having a good old time. What's uh, yeah? Give me a recommendation of a city to go to. Put me on to somewhere. Go to St. Petersburg, Russia. Really? Yeah. Can I just go to Russia right now? It's cool. I, I don't know, but if you ask for a city, I gave you one. I appreciate that. Yeah, okay, it's the city of Ireland. So you will leave a game. So we'll go game, leave game, go uh, like whatever today's model pageant is. Leave there, go food, but the the city is full of I, I, like they say the city of islands and bridges. So the bridge is let up at one thirty in the morning, won't let down to five o'clock in the morning. So on the other side of the bridge, the it's trap. all I'm talking about all parties, the W hotel. So you get caught on the side of the bridge, you can come home at six o'clock every night. Damn. People don't know about St. Peter. Oh, man. Well, I, I can't come home. That bridge caught me again. <laughs> Click. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, St. Petersburg was a vibe. I'm talking about white nights where it looks like it's three o'clock in the afternoon and it's three o'clock in the morning. Like it doesn't, the sun. Is that far north? Uh, that's in St. Petersburg. But it, it happens in the month of March for like a week. They call it white nights. Number parties going around. Wow. Part, all type of wild shit. Yeah, I enjoy myself, man. That sounds fantastic. Yeah, I enjoy myself in Europe. It's crazy to just know that this is part of what's going on in the world. Just yeah. oh, like, oh, this city's incredible. Yeah. I had no idea it existed. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah. 